initial work of our social safety university. Come to some changes in life as well. So Good morning, the Director General and all officers of the Dome Commission. This is important, very important for the life of this university. Because the reason that government of Washington loves this university is because of the achievement of this university. Everywhere the government talks, they reference the Washington all the time. All the life of the government is about this university. And it's not because of any other thing, it's because of this kind of this. I am myself a person suggestion in the area of health, both there and plant conservation. I'm a plant scientist. I'm a plant scientist. And, uh, it was in the late part of my career that I veered to the total. The real science of plant research and food chemistry as related to them. But my initial scientific research, about 10 publications, are in the area of plant conservation and ecology and ecology. And that's the reason that I'm interested in this project. Also, because I was at the University of Connecticut and the Institute of Justice in Germany as a visiting postdoctoral fellow. And each time I ran into a problem in the laboratory, and I wasn't able to get what I was looking for. There is this very beautiful garden in that university. Very massive botanical garden. I would just excuse myself from the lab and go there. And you know it's like a spiritual thing. The solution will just come out in that garden. So I've found the garden so much. The same thing I experienced when I was in Italy. Same thing when I was in Rome. Garden has power. And that is what you see in the developed nations. People maintain gardens. They, they try to create gray zones everywhere. It's not for anything but to rejuvenate thinking, to help them to meditate and get answers to problems. Do you know that? Recent scientific results show that when someone is sick and it goes into a perfect garden all the time, the plant, without even eating or touching the plant, the plant has healing power. Things like that have been published in recent times that we don't really have to drink, have chew plant or anything. That just go in the environment, that the exchange is spiritual, feels So, we are glad that this is being initiated at this time. And we want to also see ourselves as contributing to ecological development. Because plants are beyond the ordinary. I argue that point that of all living things on the planet, plants are the only creatures that live in two environments at the same time. Half of the plant is in the dark region, total darkness inside the soil, and half is above the ground, which is the light and the And of all living things on the planet, plants are the only ones that eat with two mouths at the same time. Conduct water from the ground and take something from the space. And it's been highly several years that were it not for the presence of plants on this planet, no human being will be here today. Because plants are the ones that absorb heat from the solar radiation and convert them photosynthetically to glucose and sugar. Uh, so the life of plants is beyond what we think about. And you know too that plants also protest, just like human beings protest when you are faced with a favorable environment. And you may not know the battle that goes on inside the plant when you try to apply a simple exercise on the plant. There's a lot of struggle by the plant trying to rescue itself from the heinous act of human beings trying to eat the plant. But unfortunately, plants cannot stop and they cannot run away. And that is the only limitation that God has imposed upon them. That they are not able to talk and they are not able to move. But in terms of 
Not chemistry. Plants are not complex as this. So, so, on that note, I'm very happy that we are getting to this stage. And we are getting to study plants. I'm willing to contribute to this. I'm willing to. I'm willing to contribute my expertise to this one, what I know. And then how we can, how we can make this better in the process of implementing this project. Therefore, on behalf of our council, our Senate, our stakeholders, and everybody that is connected to this university, I want to welcome this idea and that the university will do whatever it is supposed to do to make this collaboration a reality. You are welcome to Ocean State University. We pride on Ocean State. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice Chancellor. Mr. Vice Chancellor, with your permission, I would like to quickly introduce uh, the university team members. Uh, unfortunately, some of them are quite busy now on another university assignment, but I will just quickly uh, run through their names. The university put their name, the team Vice Chancellor. The project's lead, Field Works, Plant Biology, is Dr. M. M. Shimo. The project's lead, Carbon Simulation and Chemical Engineering, is Dr. Dukman Abidoui. Dr. Dukman Abidoui is currently here, I will do some changes. A member of the team, Legal aspect is a system of the world is to evaluate the business of future. Then the project facilitators and the one in charge, in charge of the stakeholders organization is our own Mr. S. So at KBC, the owners of the community. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I would like to quickly introduce the acting HOD of the plant biology to you. Dr. G. Mola, Now that the project team is currently uh, busy on another university assignment, I would like to, with your panel screenshot, sir, I would like to call on the Hacked HOD to briefly uh, give us an overview of the biodiversity projects, the farm grant, team and strategy. Your please appreciate Dr.
Good morning, sir. Uh, our young vice chancellor, sir. And the great ashram, the super officers, and also our, our special uh, guest, the DG in our commission and the team. I, I want to say to you, by uh, linking up with what the vice chancellor has explained, as a particular position, because at every stage, even from the beginning, I intimated uh, our vice chancellor and as department or our HUD and as strategic positions of the what is kind of right now, I intimated all of them that this idea is what I'm thinking about. Can we also have this reply and they all gave a nod to it. And the first point of explaining this very project is actually to invite the audience here to, to help me appreciate the leadership of the very university. Please help me appreciate it. The second point of call for this very project is that at different stages we encounter different challenges which we were looking at how we can overcome them. That was what led us to the ground commission. And when I shared the idea with the contact of the Grand Commission, we had a series of almost two, uh, two months deliberating on this very uh, issue, trying to harmonize the thoughts and, and the rest of like that. And today, I am happy that uh, we are here together and the project is in reality, not only for Osho State, not only for Southwestern Nigeria, but I must say that it is going to inspire a similar collaboration in the world. So I, I want to invite us also to appreciate from the DD and the team of that position. Yes. And lastly, on this very project, I want to also say that a lot of stakeholders have contributed the message to this sitting that we are achieving today. And that is the representative from the uh, government, which is the Ministry of Innovation. Uh, Science and Technology, which is classified by presenting the ministry. Please let us appreciate that. And I, I am hoping that we, we, we are going to have the generality uh, the for the, the Ministry of the Local Government, who doubled as the second to the number in council. They did a very fantastic job for us to mobilize the, all the others in our state and we met them, we discovered them, and I must say this. As the representative of the, the LBC of our country of Ghana, not available in the country now, they would love to, to, to have been here. But he sent a very cogent message to this very city, which is that he, he has donated 20 acres of land for this very country. So, to actually have a and also host some of strategic uh, uh, research structures in their community. Let us have a shape of our group here. And also, on that particular day, the Royal Majesty of our uh, uh, of our of uh, the Federal Kingdom called me several times and told me that we have to be done in this country. I am part of this. Just like the way our music has rightly said. And, uh, and uh, here today, he, he, he has sent the industry from the palace to actually participate in this very meeting. Let us appreciate our country. I don't forget like that, but we don't want to make this elaborate for that time to just invite them to work that with us. And I must say, before I, I wrap up how far we have gone with this very project, I must say that uh, all these things that uh, we have put together, I just had the idea, the motivators, the collaborators, externally and internally. But we have some fighter people that have piloted it at grassroots level. Because we without them having the results to carry on, we won't be able to actually have this city. And these are my students that are here. Uh, Jennifer is actually the lead on that unit and uh, I have a big thing for the great fight to uh, the reason why we are moving forward. And lastly, I must say that uh, so far that we have done, I have a group, I have a group where I am committed from. Without any authority from that very group, nothing is going to happen, even beyond 
that very dangerous. And that is my department. I want to also appreciate our people in here. So that is what I just want to say as well. Because yes, every other business has been uh, have been able to be given report from time to time to all the stakeholders. And I hope the concept you know, that summarizes all these thoughts are also the forums. I thank you and God bless you. And that's it. That's it. This. I want to appreciate because at the end of the day, when everything had been done, there was only one single person that, that should give approval or okay, this is how the embassy is going to call me, and that is my, my daddy here, and that is the registrar of the university. I submitted all the reports to him, and immediately he took the report and said to me that no problem we are going to have the kind of conversation and the admin level and the management level and we are going to give you a date and you are going to uh, even pass it uh, on how it's going to happen. Thank you so much, sir. So, for this one, I, I wrap up uh, the whole conversation about the business. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm um, going straight to the grants by the collaborators. I'm going to start with uh, the government ministries, which. On behalf of permanent secretary, Mr. Mark Chimo, I would like to appreciate the meeting. Honestly, the last time we came as a team to this place, we saw the passion in the business. Talking about innovations, talking about anything that has to do with research. So many things, the talk that even brief one that we gave, I saw so many things in it. Very wonderful. And most of us that also made us to see that truly the development, growth, and everything that is happening is of course because things are here. Thank you very much, sir. So we can see, of course, the national handshake being received today. Of course, I just remind to see that this idea that is being better today again by Mr. Adebisi of plant biodiversity research is not only better that the project is not only better for us, that the project at the end of the day will achieve all the objectives stated. I provide gratitude to the Council of others because they really took up this project and said, the Secretariat of Social Space for the one reception and really supports extended to the initiator, personal minister, and the business. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Of course, as I was saying before, the last time we came here, that we came to answer the multidisciplinary laboratory, we saw that all these things, no thing is happening in this place. Not only that, we also visited the bush that is a digital business hub. Because that's another world of creativity. With the analytic of course and efforts of the business to see that innovation and research is trial. Truly, this mission has a very passion for innovation in general. As rightly said by the business, that talking about innovation, that is what this area of expertise. This expertise is not very, very, very it's an expert in that area. That biodiversity research is indeed an embracing innovation, which is of course true. Our dear Mr. David said is leaving no stone on top, leaving out its comfort zone to see that a problem and identified is not left on such but using every source, every resource in its capacity and whatever it can take for him to achieve solutions to whatever that has to do with plants. Talking about plants, of course I have so many things to say about plants. Plants, of course, if somebody is intact or plant, let it down, you see that what the person will expect to longer get sand out. 
even we have good things to say about France. Talking about the new version of Fashion that we are of course addressing this morning. Because when talking about the fire, this is my satisfaction that we're talking about the memory of what there's going to be survey, there's going to be documentation, there's going to be economic factors, benefits, and the rest. So the next thing. Talking about innovation, talking about passion, talking about potential, profession, talking about productivity, and of course profit at the end of the day. Which was that I was on trying to find my innovation as the race to power five. So I would not like to take much of our time, but so as tell us that we still need to look at some things. We are addressing extinction, not about extinction that is total invasion of plants and the rest. But there are so many things that are also inhibiting the plants. And those are the ones talking about sources, talking about that some ingredients, nutrients, composition of everything that the soil needs, they are becoming worse, they are decreasing, and that not, and our plants are not performing to the expectation. Even the yeast we are getting. I remember traveling last two years old, around 2022, 2020, sorry, the drop happened that made farm produce to be very, very, very reduced. It was drastically reduced. That people are not getting good yeast. What are the things that are caused? So these are the things that we need to look at and also look at the aspect of causes. What how can we improve the quality of our soil? Removing harmful effects that it causes from our soil. And encouraging, we need to encourage what? More of greenhouse planting. I thank you. And honestly, as the visit, I like to say, I should take your hands, love this institution. And we always embrace the enemies that come out of this institution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the representative of the uh, department of section 3. Uh, we're going to read to the report. And I would like to quickly call the representative of the Royal Majesty of our geography that you will not see from the return of the report. Mr. Ojewa Nebakari, please just use the report to give the report. I want to say something to everybody. I want to find out the existing uh, protocol. Uh, my own solution is to resolve it. Render every assistance that is needed for the community. Uh, I and my partner will be fully involved in this program. Thanks. Thank you. The external advisor from the University of Toronto, Dr. Otuani Olaoui. I hope it's appreciated. Thank you for the existing protocol. I'd like to appreciate the vice chancellor of the all the registrar, all the first officers, and present the community leaders, stakeholders, collaborators, advisors at this, for this project uh, to stand and to, to commence as you have all supported the initiation. I want to appreciate all of you because it's not because of the fact that this project comes to stay, but because of the fact that you still think about sustainability. Because there's a sense of research that we carry out, if we don't transform them to be a sustainable one, it will be difficult for us to have the, the, it will be difficult for us to have a, 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 a nation's development. So if we don't develop our own country, how do we now transform it to develop other nations? But before I just give very short session. I want to acknowledge and appreciate those that are supposed to be here that are collaborating with this research.
starting with West of October, we are done. He's uh, one of the foreign speed uh, readers, I guess, from Master of West. He's also collaborating with us, one of the advisors. We have our guide to Professor Lavo Nibu Bola, that has been in charge of our strategic development over there in the University of Africa. Also, in charge of the United Nations Sustainable Development and Social Network, we also have the source of Guaze Poka. It's one of the uh, plant sites for the Amazon Society. And we also have uh, Maria Putin, also from the uh, UN, uh, SDSF, United States. I was glad this uh, research is for us to survey, to document, and to carry out several analysis. Physiological, biochemical, molecular. Then we now, which now help us to conserve all these plants that are, you know, that we have found in the diverse environment. And the target, the end point will be not only just for us to conserve us, for us to be able to establish a kind of gene bank, and that's the reason why the molecular aspects is integrated. The molecular aspects, whereby we'll be using different molecular markers. We'll be looking at it in, in, uh, in order for us to be able to have a, uh, a we able to carry out the, uh, the, the perfect diversity uh, measure from that. Thank you all about I want to appreciate you all because you have given us a very good green light. That, yes, this project, not just that we have started, that we end here, but that it's going to come out to be a commission one. And by the time of all of us, we sit down, we also come back without even so we so have achieved and do we are going to transform this research and for the uh, development of this mission. Thank you very much, Sansa. It is therefore dedicated coordinating agencies 
fully empowered by the government to ensure delivery of the compulsory development aspirations of the region, as expressed in what has generally, what has been generally adopted as law as the Lopez agenda for one started. I would like to say briefly here that John, the idea of John itself, I, uh, when I say this once in a while, people are surprised. And he didn't even start from the government. The idea of John came from outside. We had 20, 10, 20, 11 below academicians, businessmen, politicians, pseudo politicians came together and came on over an 18 month period. We want to then call the John agenda. But that agenda that was taken to the governments of the six southern states, they bought into it as in 2012, they launched that document and said, let us create a work that will be wide our regional cooperation. And that was what gave back to the Commission itself. To this end, the Commission is fully committed to making the southwest states of Nigeria as the preferred place for people to visit, live, work, and invest. When we say Southwest region, we imply the people from any kind of country within the contiguous states of Lagos, Ubu, Oyo, Oshun, as well as the surrounding states like Wara, Edo, Delta, Kogi, whom we can also trade back to history with. John Commission is not a go back agenda, but a development agenda for us to be in the nation for them. This particular project is one that fascinates me, especially because we cannot afford to jeopardize our heritage because of the inherent benefits and benefit plans for human beings. I should say we need to move beyond thinking these herbs and species are just for traditionalists and families. God gave mankind these beautiful resources to support our existence. Plants are natural resources that play many important roles within the ecosystem, including protection of soil and habitats. They create cycles. They create cycles for nutrients, summer, skin, or respiration. They provide shade and shelter as well as food, food and medicine to you. And they also serve as feed for animal, raw materials for industrial use, and through biological carbon sequestration to absorb excess carbon in the atmosphere to support the lives of other organisms. In essence, the business of the life for survival and continues of existence in that. And if I may add my own reason, I remember as a young boy, several years ago, in 1982, um, like 81. I remember that I, probably, probably the first things I ever read in my life, something about Google. It looked like a great thing. My name's Uncle. We give my young car please. You don't understand the entire universe. If I saw a million parts of my project, you give me the this is the really close to me. That was my first encounter with anything good to me or and uh, so the thing that I've got to see years later, we hear again. Then it was the vision. Then I took my vision to start there. Started creeping because I fell in love with it, and that's my own personal.
governments, sexual institutions, the traditional institutions and development organizations, but the development of conservation practices are possible libraries to work for our people. We need to serve our heads. Once we thank you for this opportunity for collaboration and don't want to show you do everything that is needed to ensure that this comes out to be a new success. On behalf of our team, I want to thank you.
So do a free talk about the uh, find out the tools that are to help yourself change your life, just look for yourself directly. What is the moral of the story? Only for this.
Leaders of tomorrow. 